If you want to know the best sport movies, you should definitely watch our picks for the best ones of the 2010s. We hope you will enjoy the following ranking. Please let us know your favorite in the comments and make sure to subscribe to never miss a good movie again. Number 10. Chasing Mavericks 2012. Before we begin, first, thou shalt not dang Frosty's board or damage thy neighbor's car. Chasing Mavericks is a 2012 biographical drama film directed by Curtis Hansen and Michael Apted and stars Gerard Butler, Johnny Weston, Elizabeth Shue, and Abigail Spencer. When Jay, 15, discovers that the mythical Mavericks, one of the biggest waves on Earth, exists a few kilometers from his home in Santa Cruz, he calls on local legend Frosty Hessen to train him to survive. As Jay and Frosty embark on their quest to accomplish the impossible, they form a unique friendship that transforms both their lives. One bump off the face of that wave, and you're hitting the water like concrete at 50 miles an hour. And you got a thousand tons of water coming down on top of you. It's knocking you senseless, ripping you apart, and pushing you down to a place that is so deep and so dark. Number 9. Southpaw 2015. I expected a hard fight, you know. Um, put my family through a lot. Uh, by the way, Layla, if you're watching, go to sleep, baby. <laughs> Southpaw is a 2015 sports drama film directed by Antoine Fuqua and stars Jake Gyllenhaal, Forrest Whitaker, and Rachel McAdams. The film follows Billy Hope, a boxer who sets out to get his life back on track after a fatal incident sends him on a rampant path of destruction. He begins to fall into a great depression. But when the decision regarding the custody of his daughter is under question, Billy decides to get his life back on track by getting back into the ring. Number 8. 42, 2013. I just found out today. The best I can do, I'll get you straightened out tomorrow, okay? Uh, it's okay. 42 is a 2013 biographical sport film directed by Brian Helgeland and stars Chadwick Boseman, Harrison Ford, Alan Tudyk, and Nicole Behari. The film follows Jackie Robinson, a Negro League baseball player who never takes racism lying down, and Branch Rickey, a major league team executive with a bold idea. In 1947, Branch Rickey is interested in recruiting Jackie for the Dodgers. But when Jackie becomes the first African American to play in major league baseball, he soon realizes that overcoming the racism in this process won't be easy. We had a Negro catcher, best hitter on the team. So I'm laid low, broken because of the color of his skin and I didn't do enough to help. Number seven, I, Tanya, 2017. This is how it's done. Some of these girls have paid their dues. I don't give a shit. I outskated him today. We also judge on presentation. I, Tanya is a 2017 biographical film directed by Craig Gillespie and stars Margot Robbie, Sebastian Stan, and Allison Janney. In 1991, the talented ice skater Tanya Harding becomes the first American woman to perform a difficult triple axel in a competition. But when her ex-husband conspires to injure a fellow skater in a planned attack, Harding's life and legacy instantly become tarnished as she's forever associated with one of the most infamous scandals in sports history. Well, you know what? If you can come up with $5,000 for a costume for me, then I won't have to make one. Till then, just stay out of my face. Number 6. Moneyball, 2011. Talking la 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 like this is business as usual. It's not. Moneyball is a 2011 biographical sports drama film directed by Bennett Miller and stars Brad Pitt, Jonah Hill, Philip Seymour Hoffman, and Chris Pratt. It is based on the true story of Oakland Athletics general manager Billy Bean, who is handicapped with the lowest salary constraint in baseball. Therefore, he must find another competitive advantage and is about to turn baseball on its ear when he uses statistical data to analyze on the players he picks for the team. The problem we're trying to solve is that there are rich teams and there are poor teams. Then there's 50 feet of crap, and then there's us. It's an unfair game. 
Number 5. Creed 2015 I want you to train me. All right, I need somebody solid, and who else better to go to? All right, you at least owe me that. Creed is a 2015 sports drama film directed by Ryan Coogler and stars Michael B. Jordan, Sylvester Stallone, Tessa Thompson, and Felicia Rashad. It is a spin-off and sequel in the Rocky film series and follows the life of Adonis Johnson, the son of boxing champion Apollo Creed. Adonis wasn't born until after his father's death and wants to follow in his footsteps in boxing. Therefore, he travels to Philadelphia to find his father's friend, Rocky Balboa, in order to recruit him as a trainer for a shot at the title. You're going to take a beat, you're going to take this, you're going to get knocked out, you're going to get up, and you're going to see if you got the right thing. But you got to work hard. I swear to God, if you're not going to do it, I'm out. Number 4. The Fighter, 2010 Maybe just this one time, not for Dickie? Huh? I know you think he's coming back. He's 40 years old. He doesn't have a tooth in his head that's his fucking arm. Yeah. Fighter is a 2010 biographical sports drama film directed by David O. Russell and stars Mark Wahlberg, Christian Bale, Amy Adams, and Melissa Leo. The film is based on the true story of professional boxer Mickey Ward, who tries to escape the shadow of his more famous older boxing half-brother Dickie Eklund and get his own shot at greatness. It was nominated for seven Academy Awards and won the awards for Best Supporting Actor for Christian Bale and Best Supporting Actress for Melissa Leo. This is supposed to be my fight. This is my shot at the title. I won't get another one after this. Am I being selfish? No. Am I saying Mickey, Mickey, Mickey? You know what? If I am, I'm sorry. I thought I was fighting for the championship and I thought you were my mother too. Number three, Rush 2013. They're driving an illegal car and call me the cheat. It's pathetic. Rules are rules. Yes. And rats. Ah, uh, rats. Thank you. Thank you. Rush is a 2013 biographical sports film directed by Ron Howard and stars Chris Hemsworth, Daniel Brohl, Olivia Wilde, and Alexandra Maria Laura. The movie is centered on the Hunt Lada rivalry between two Formula One drivers, the British James Hunt and the Austrian Nicky Lada, during the 1976 Formula One motor racing season. Both drivers were willing to risk everything to become the champion in a sport with no margin for error. If you make a mistake, you die. Do you really think it upsets me, James? <laughs> Calling me a rat because I look like one? I don't mind it. Rats are ugly, sure, and nobody likes them, but they're very intelligent and they have a strong survival instinct. Number 2. Ford vs. Ferrari, 2019. You're holding the 62 edition of the SCCA. You can stick this bloody sticker where the sun Hey, hey, Bill. Sure. Ford vs. Ferrari is a 2019 sports drama film directed by James Mangold and stars Matt Damon, Christian Bale, John Bernthal, and Catriona Balfe. An automotive visionary leads his extraordinary team of engineers and designers to create the ultimate Ford GT40, a race car with the potential to defeat the champion Ferrari racing team. However, American automotive designer Carroll Shelby and his British driver Ken Miles must first fight their own demons before they challenge Ferrari at the 24 Hours of Le Mans race in 1966. Look out there. Out there is the perfect lap. No mistakes. Every gear change, every corner. Perfect. Before we unveil movie number one, here are a few honorable mentions. I don't know what I was thinking. But as your friend, I say you gotta do it. This is your moment. I need a practice jump. What do, you, what do you need to know you don't know already? It's higher than you jumped before, you're gonna go faster than you've ever gone before, you're gonna fly farther than your tiny little brain can handle, but it's just a jump. We are their pride. At the end of the week, we set the world to rights for them. At least the Sunday morning. And we owe them the best. Now, you want to play in front of them? Me and Mr. Busby need to know you'll give us the best in front of these 80,000, 3 o'clock on a Saturday. Warrior 2011. No, he's just some old vet that I train with. You know, he means nothing to me. And what I hear, he means nothing to you either. 
Warrior, released in 2011, is a sports drama film that tells the story of two estranged brothers as their paths cross while preparing to fight the ultimate boxing match of their lives. Gavin O'Connor manages to make it more than just a sports movie with his phenomenal direction. The film stars Tom Hardy and Joel Edgerton in lead roles. The movie takes you on an emotional journey and gets the audience hooked with its powerful and touching plot. Cover up, cover up! Push, 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 push. Don't give him your back! Don't give him your back! Do you agree with our list? Please let us know in the comments. If you want to know more about a particular movie in this list, you can check out our links in the video description. And for more top 10 movie videos, be sure to subscribe to Community TV.